Are we on? All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Ann Boger, and this is Jonathan Gray, and we're here from Freelancers Union to talk to you today about health insurance. Um, also off screen is Caitlin Pierce, our Director of Member Engagement, who's uh, moderating the chat. So if you see the spot um, sort of on the right side of your screen where you can put in questions, Caitlin's keeping an eye on those so we can try to answer as many questions as we can for you today. Because we have people um, watching from all over the country, we're going to stay pretty high level um, about open enrollment and health insurance. And if you have more specific questions, we'll give you a good place to send them at the end of the presentation. So we have some slides, which we're going to bring up on the screen now. And there they are. Great. Um, so thank you for joining our Open Enrollment 2018 presentation. We'll try to keep this pretty quick so we can get to your questions. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Ann, and Caitlin and Jonathan are with us. Um, and uh, here's what we're going to cover today. First, why do you need health insurance, where you can get it, and what you th should think about before choosing a plan. So first of all, open enrollment started last week on November 1st, and it's important to know some key dates. Um, December 15th is the nationwide deadline for enrolling in coverage for January 1st. And so you'll hear a lot about that deadline. Don't miss the deadline of December 15th. There are some states, such as New York, who have um, extended the timeline longer than just December 15th. So if you're one of our many New York members, be aware that you do have until January 31st to enroll in a plan, but it will start later. Um, if you enroll January 15th, it would be for February 1st. If you enroll after that, it would be for March 1st. So why do you need health insurance? Um, and why now? So one thing, important thing to know is that um, this open enrollment period that goes until December 15th is the only time throughout the year when you're allowed to enroll without any kind of special qualifying event. So if you miss the December 15th deadline, um, you would need to have a change of circumstance in order to enroll in health insurance. Health insurance is, is an important thing to have for your peace of mind, for your financial protection, access to free wellness care, and um, access to discounted prices when you go to the doctor or the hospital. Um, and there's a lot of discussion happening right now in the policy world about health insurance and the Affordable Care Act, but it is still in effect as of today. And um, we have up on the screen what the fines were in 2017 if you didn't have uh, coverage throughout the year. Um, of course, we're all watching um, the national stage on what um, may happen to the bill, but right now um, it is still a mandated benefit that you should have to avoid these tax implications. So where can you get health insurance? Well, Freelancers Union's national benefit platform is a great place to start. We um, have a wide variety of health insurance plans up in most places throughout the country. You can also go directly to your state's health insurance marketplace and see um, what's available there. And you can also go directly from insurance carriers. So the Affordable Care Act standardized what health insurance plans were available to individuals into these five categories. Um, a catastrophic plan is for someone who's under the age of 30. These tend to be less expensive than the other plans. So if you fit that category, I encourage you to look at them. Um, then there's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And these metal tiers really are there to symbolize um, sort of the level of coverage that you're selecting, with bronze having a less expensive premium but a bigger deductible, and then you know going up that ladder all the way to platinum where you have a much bigger premium um, but very little, if any, deductible. So how do you choose the right plan? 
Well, in choosing the right plan, it's definitely important to make a list of the things that you feel are very vital to your health care. For instance, if you're someone that goes to the doctor often and, you know, seek a lot of care, you may want to look at the gold or the silver option, the platinum options, which are the richer options where you will pay less out of pocket. Now, uh, reviewing the costs associated with health plans is very important, whether it's your deductibles, co-pays, or co-insurance. And if you don't understand those terms, you can actually go to our website where it says freelancersunion.org slash resources and look up in our glossary all the terms so you can understand them. It's important to check the prescription and drug costs. Reason being, if you're someone that uses drugs fairly often, you may want to get a prescription-rich plan, whereas someone who's fairly healthier and doesn't really take that many prescriptions. You just go get some generic drugs. You may not need as rich of a plan. Now, I cannot stress how important it is to evaluate the doctors and the care facilities on the plan that you choose. Um, I would definitely say it's worth giving your doctor a call or your facility that you use a call to see if your plan is in network. Also check for plan limitations and exclusions. For instance, if you like acupuncture care or you need that care, it's important to make sure it's included on your plan. Uh, and you also wanna make sure they have wellness resources that are there for you, such as gym reimbursement. So um, are you eligible for a subsidy? It's really going to depend on your income uh, and it's important to to keep that in mind when you're thinking about how and where to enroll. So uh, we recommend using the Kaiser Family Foundation subsidy calculator available um, pretty easily to Google that. Um, they have a really nice tool that'll give you a sense of if you might be eligible for subsidies. If you are looking at our website and looking at pricing there, um, most of our, in most states, we'll show you if you have a subsidy that's available to you. If you're in the New York area, be aware that the rates on our website don't show a subsidy, but as you travel to our partners um, to finish enrolling, they will catch if you need a subsidy and make sure that you get it applied to your premium. So just something to keep in mind. Um, so here are a few things, uh, important things for freelancers to keep in mind. Uh, if, you're, if your income fluctuates, that will affect your subsidy amount, and it can be sort of a year-end uh, reconciliation that you're doing with your accountant. Um, you may also be able to have your premium be tax deductible, so it's another thing to talk to your financial advisor about. And you may be able to enroll in health insurance outside of the open enrollment window. Um, keep in mind, if you are currently on COBRA um, and may lose it halfway through the year, you would have an opportunity to enroll then. If something about your situation changes, you get married or have a baby or move or change jobs, those are all qualifying events to allow you to enroll mid-year. Um, but we think it's really important to take that opportunity once a year. Um, to really evaluate what are all the benefits that you and your family may need. Health insurance being an important one, but we also at Freelancers Union offer access to dental insurance plans, um, term life insurance, long-term disability insurance, um, liability insurance. So there's a lot of different kinds of coverage to consider as a freelancer. So now we're gonna ask, uh, we wanna hear from you and answer some of your questions. One that Caitlin's already shared with us is, um, are the plans that we offer on our site the same as the plans that you can offer elsewhere? And how can you get access to group coverage? So the, the short answer is yes. The, most of the plans that are on um, the Freelancers Union website are individual plans, meaning they meet all the requirements of the Affordable Care Act and are similar to the plans that you'll find directly from the carriers. Um, and that's really because the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, whichever one you want to call it, um, disallowed certain kinds of groups to buy insurance together. And so Freelancers Union in New York used to have a group that was actually discontinued in 2014 because of the new law. Um, so now we help our members access health insurance, including those individual plans. And when you buy through our site, you pay the same amount as you'd pay elsewhere, but you help support all the advocacy work that we do. We're also um, really keeping an eye on what's happening in Washington with health insurance. There was a um, 
an executive order issued not too long ago that encouraged those kinds of group plans to come back. So we're going to keep an eye on that to see how that's implemented and interpreted as it goes through um, the regulatory process. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, we do have, if you're in the New York area, one program that allows access to group coverage. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated, but essentially you, um, as a freelance business, hire a, an organization to help run your human resources, including your benefits. Um, you put yourself on their payroll, and then you enroll in health insurance with all the other staff members of all their other clients, um, it's all grouped together. So if you're interested in that and you're in the New York area, you can go to freelancersunion.org slash health, search for your zip code, and um, go look for the more um, comprehensive benefits to find it. Um, so another question that Caitlin is sharing with us is, um, if you work in many different places and travel a lot, um, what's, a, what's a good option for health insurance? And um, the, uh, the short answer is most of those individual plans that you buy through the Affordable Care Act are regional and you need to pick a residence and buy your plan there and then the network of doctors will be really in that area. So it's an important idea to, to look at the carriers in your home base region um, how do they cover things when you travel? Um, a lot of car carriers will include urgent care as well as emergency care, but they're going to want you to do all your checkups and planned stuff uh, in your home base town or city. Um, and uh, that's just one of the limitations of the individual plans is that they really tend to be regional like that. Um, so the one plan that I mentioned earlier, I'll mention a little bit more about is um, the group plan that you can access in the New York area. Um, essentially, the coverage that is available there is a nationwide uh, plan with PPO options, meaning there's out-of-network coverage, and the coverage is through Oxford. Um, it's not as simple as just buying health insurance because in order to gain access to it, you need to be considered a qualified um, employee essentially of our partner and so you hire them to do your HR and then you join all the other staff members that are also getting HR services from them and to do this you really need a freelance or small business that has its own tax ID number and uh, can therefore uh, essentially act as your own employer. Um, and you need to be able to support putting yourself on payroll every single month of the year in order to have coverage as if you were a almost like a full-time employee. So uh, really think about if it's a good fit for you, you probably, um, already have a tax ID number for your for your company, maybe you're an LLC, maybe you're a sole proprietor, you have probably at least $2,000 worth of revenue that you could run through a payroll system every month. Um, some of that would go to fees, some of that would go to the, the PPO health insurance coverage, um, and a little bit of that would come back to you um, as wages. You could then, as, your business, as a business owner, pay yourself the rest of your income, uh, if there is any, uh, in, in other ways um, with your tax accountant. So if that's something that sounds like it might be a good fit for you and you're in the New York area, um, we do uh, ask that you sign up to learn more. Our partner really wanna wa wants to walk you through all the details and make sure it's a good fit for you. So we don't have um, sort of side-by-side -side health insurance comparisons on our website. Instead, you need to sign up to speak to someone from our partner. Um, and that's just uh, how they do things. So um, please be patient, sign up early to hear from them uh, as they go through the list to reach out to everyone. Um, they'll want both your email address and your hopefully your phone number so they can connect, learn about your business and see if it's a good fit uh, for you and for them to work together. Um, and there was another question about, is there any group discount if you um, buy through Freelancers Union? And unfortunately, that's not permitted under the Affordable Care Act for the individual plans. So um, the rates that you'll see on our site are the same rates that you'd find somewhere else, but we, um, we're supported by 
by offering those coverage to you. So our, um, our carrier partners pay us just a tiny bit for each person who enrolls. And that allows us to do all the advocacy work that we're doing here, including our campaign um, to make uh, freelancers get paid on time and as they're, as they're, you know, as they deserve. So in New York City, we've had landmark legislation protecting freelancers from non-payment, and we're looking to bring that across the country. We do that kind of work with the revenue that we generate from our health insurance. We also have um, people like Jonathan here to answer your emails throughout the uh, throughout the week around health insurance, especially if you enroll through us, we can then help you if you have an issue with the carrier halfway through the year or something like that. Because we represent so many freelancers, we have access to sort of higher ups inside most of the health carriers to help with issues. So um, there is power in numbers, even if there's no discount. Um, any other questions? If not, we really appreciate you watching us today. We hope this was helpful. You can email us at membership at freelancersunion.org if you have more specific questions that you'd like us to answer. Thanks very much. Have a great afternoon. Have a great afternoon.